Hey there guys and welcome to another Crytan photography video and happy new year it's 2019 so I hope you guys are ready for what's in store for the next couple of months ahead uh, also today I'm going to be doing a review on the X900 pixel N flash uh, which is strictly for Nikon but they also do other makes for Canon and Sony and so on um, but yeah, today I'll be doing that, but I'm going to head to the studio and the first thing I'm going to need to do is actually get changed. So yeah. Ooh, that's better. I can chop. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need my kit for this one. Um, so let's organize that. What's that? Should I be two bags? Oh. Why, hello there. Okay, so um, I'm gonna head off to the studio now. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have my car. Uh, it's in the shop uh, having a service and it's MOT. Um, and that should be a lot of fun now going by foot. But I heard about this new sort of transportation method. Um, in 2019, that's called teleportation. Kind of what like how I brought my kit in. Um, we're gonna give it a go, see if we can actually, you know, travel. Yeah. Uh, basically how it works is you just close your eyes. Just imagine where you're going. Think really hard and it should start working. Okay, let's try again. Whoa. Hey, hey Steve. <laughs> hey James. Phil, what are you doing here? We had a meeting. Did we? Yeah. Oh, oh okay then. Yeah. Let's meet. What's up? <laughs> hey there guys, I'm here now at Penguin Studios with Steve Cook and James Tipping. Hello. Say hello. Hello. With your brand new Pentax. Is that the? Hey, okay. the KP. The KP. Yeah. And you bought another one as well. I have. <laughs> and this guy in the mask is James, but Big there reveal. we go. Big reveal. How are we doing, James? Very well. Very well. Very James. well. How's the mask? Is it comfortable? Yeah, fairly. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to try it on. <laughs> so, we're going to be testing with the Nikon today the X900N from Pixel. And so, I sent this a couple of days ago just to give, um, you know, sort of my own take and my own review on it. And um, so far, it seems to be quite a good. Uh, flash, but I'll give it its pros and cons once I've had a go with it. So just a quick disclaimer before I get into this, just to let you know, I have not been paid to do this review. This is just my own take on the Pixel Flash uh, and what I think of it. Um, and they've let me keep the flash for free after this video. Okay, so for the most part, you guys know that as a photographer, I am um, someone that uses a lot of natural light and constant lighting in my photography. So flash photography is not one of my strengths. Flash can be a fun experimental medium that you can use in your photography. Um, and I do use it now and again. So I'm just going to talk about uh, the pros, the cons, and who I think the actual uh, flash unit is for. So let's talk about the pros. So the design of this flash um, is very high quality. I especially like um, the locking mechanism on the top that stops it from moving, um, which is great. Also, there's a locking mechanism on the bottom, which I haven't actually seen with uh, other flashes before. Maybe um, it's just my, to my knowledge, um, this little clip on the back seems to lock straight into place uh, nearly every time. So I'm very happy it sits on the camera very snug. Now, uh, this 
Flash has a ton of modes inbuilt into it. So it's got TTL. It's also got repeat mode or stroboscopic mode. Some people like to call it. It's also got manual mode and it also has high speed sync. I did a test with the uh, high speed sync mode, uh, but it didn't work out the way uh, me and James hoped. But uh, as you can see, it still does a pretty good job of nailing things um, at high speed, which I was really, really impressed by. It has a bunch of different assist modes that help it to focus, help your camera focus on an area. Um, one being this little infrared kind of red laser light thing. I don't know what you would call it. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but it really helped me to nail focus in really dark light situations. So I did test it out and I was very impressed by that. Um, it also has this cool little uh, video light on the front here. Um, and that can sort of help to get your focus in. Now the, the battery in here is uh, long lasting. Um, because it's unique and it's designed for this particular flash, you're gonna find that um, flashes that have a battery that's designed for it are gonna last longer than any other kind of battery. So this one is rated for 700 shots. Um, so you can get 700 photos out of this flash, but I'm guessing depending on what power mode you've got it in, um, if it's been stressed out a little bit more, obviously you're gonna have less photos. So let's talk about the cons of this flash. So the first thing you notice about this um, flash unit is that it's quite heavy and bulky. I think this is due to the, the weight of the particular battery that's in here. Um, it's quite a hefty battery. It's not like the other uh, flashes that you take, probably take uh, double A's or have a smaller battery pack in there. So if you're out on a day of shooting, you're really gonna struggle with this if you're not used to carrying uh, heavy gear. Now, as I've shown you, this particular battery is unique to the Pixel's design. So um, if you're in a pinch and the battery has died on this and you're on a shoot somewhere or you going to a wedding or an event or something and the battery's died, you can't run to a corner shop and get this. You need to order maybe one or two just to have in your kit bag because one of the letdowns about this particular unit is the battery takes five hours to charge. So on that account, I'm not really um, quite happy with that kind of thing. I think they should have actually stuck with some um, AA batteries, but it does have a pro that the recycle time is a lot faster in this unit because of its unique strong powered battery. So when you buy this flash, this particular one is not compatible with other brands of camera. So other models actually. Um, so this N there stands for Nikon. I don't know if I'll bring that closer. There we go. And it will only work with Nikon cameras. However, you can get ones for Canon and Sony. Now, I don't recommend this for beginners because it's got quite a complex menu. So um, even I had a, a tough time trying to get my head around certain um, aspects of the menu system in here. Nonetheless, um, it does take some patience and uh, a lot of time to sit down and go through the individual settings and how to set up you know, your zoom, how much flash power you want, um, whether you're going to be linking it up with other flashes, slave mode, that kind of thing. It does take a bit of time to get used to. So for someone that's probably just using it for the very first time, I recommend having a look at maybe a cheaper flash. So you're not going to spend £150 on this particular unit and then at the end of it, you're not gonna be happy with it because you can't understand or can't use it. So I recommend um, this to sort of intermediates, um, people that spend a lot of time doing flash photography, not someone that's gonna just use it on the fly now and again. Other than that, um, overall, I still think it's a really good flash. I would recommend it to anyone that is getting into studio photography, um, someone that does a lot of events and weddings and nightlife. So if you are a nightclub shooter or do a lot of shoots at night of events, this is definitely a flash um, that you wanna go for. It seemed to handle really well um, throughout the shoot and just messing around with it. It never skipped a beat. It was just brilliant um, to work with. With other flashes, they have a really long time to kick back. Um, my flashes take about two seconds to come back in um, to recycle for the next shot. This one is rated at 1.5 seconds, which is incredibly quick. So you don't miss your shots in that case. Now, as you probably saw from the pictures, 
Um, I'm very happy with the quality of light uh, I was able to output. I did notice a huge difference between my, my own uh, flashes that I currently own, um, and they seem to have the same sort of rating, obviously, but um, in terms of functionality, quickness, speed, and just overall uh, use of this particular flash, I do think it's a really good product. I didn't mean like literally bye bye, but just like a what? Say goodbye in the vlog. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, do drop us a like, subscribe and share and do your worst in that comment section. I'll also pop a link in the description below to where you can get one of the Pixels uh, flashes. Um, and also, yeah, do check out uh, James and Steve here at P Penguin Studios, as you can see. I'll pop a link in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>